Surrey closed in on their promotion thanks to a 100 from Zafar Ansari, a career best innings from James Burke and runs from the tail on the third day of the LV County Championship match at the Keir Oval, where Derbyshire are the visitors. Surrey began the penultimate morning still 86 runs behind on first innings on 227 for five, but Gary Wilson was again looking in impressive form after racing to 36 on the previous evening. He was soon off and running again and registered his half century in the day's fifth over with this single off Ben Cotton. The Irishman had struck seven fours in his 50, one which had given his side an opportunity to earn a first innings advantage. He and Ansari gave their side an ideal start to this day, a crucial one for the home team if they were going to earn the necessary points to win promotion in front of their own supporters. Of course, starting this match only 10 points behind the second division leaders Lancashire means that taking the title is not out of the question either. Derbyshire finally broke through soon after the second new ball was claimed. Wilson on 72, edging a wide ball from Mark Footer behind to end the sixth wicket partnership on 109. A big moment soon followed when Burke was dropped in the slips off the same bowler, a miss which was to prove to be very expensive. It meant that Ansari and Burke were able to see out the rest of the morning session, one dominated by the home team in which they started to at last take control of this game. These two would have headed to the break knowing that another similarly good afternoon session would have their team just where they wanted to be. So the two continued to press on after the break, having their side into the lead with Ansari passing a 50 off 137 balls. The decision to drop him down the batting order working out well for both parties. Burke was dropped again, this time by Chesney Hughes off the once again unlucky foot it, who did deserve better. Burke, along with the Curran brothers, has come of age at the Oval this summer and he was starting to enjoy himself now as he was able to take on the frustrated foot it, taking his side beyond 350 to earn his side a fourth batting bonus point. The former Somerset all-rounder, who's playing in only his eighth first-class match, was raising his bat for just the second time in his career after he took this single off Wes Durston to get to his 50 off his 102nd delivery. His partnership with Ansari was now into three figures too. Ansari was now into the 80s and still playing well. Hughes gifted him a couple of full tosses in the same over which he drilled through the covers to close in on what was to become just the third hundred of the talented 23-year-old's first-class career. 15 runs came off this shoes over and Ansari scored 14 of those to waste no time at all in the 90s. His magic mark reached with this three, his second of those in the over two, which had him at his century of 213 balls from which he'd found the boundary on 10 occasions. He'd been at the crease for just less than five hours and all of this after he'd taken four wickets in the Derbyshire innings. No wonder there are increasing calls for him to be selected in the next England test squad. He was finally out for 106, LBW to Durston, but he put on 148 runs for the seventh wicket with Burke to now have Surrey 116 runs to the good. Derbyshire would have hoped that that would now lead to them finishing off this innings quickly, but not a bit of it. Sam Curran has already shown off his capabilities with the bat in the few innings he's had in his career, and he even picked up the pace now as he and Burke took their side through to the tea break. And the runs kept flowing into the evening, the eighth wicket now adding 31 runs, before Burke, who'd overtaken his previous best of 73 to get to 79, Nick Durston behind. The spinner now with his fourth wicket of this innings and the 100th of his first class career. We now had the two Curran brothers together and they kept the innings moving on. There was not an array of shots as many might have expected at this point, but neither missed out on many opportunities to score either, as this pair carried the total up to 499. Derbyshire now into the 143rd over in the field. For the second game in a row, Sam Curran missed out on a deserved maiden 50, this time falling for 46 when he gave Durston a fifth wicket for just the third time in his career. It brought Gareth Batty in at number 11 and he now took his side beyond 500, making the most of a flagging attack as he launched Matt Critchley down the ground and over the rope for a six. 
but Durston did have a day to remember as he grabbed a sixth wicket for the first time as Tom Curran was stumped for 24. Durston took six for 113 as Surrey, with Batty left undefeated on 35, all out for 560. The home team would have loved to have had a go at Derbyshire's weary batsman now, but the light prevented that, and so we enter the last day with the visitors 247 runs behind and needing to bat all day to prevent Surrey's immediate promotion. <laughs>